appeal denied, but the fight not over yet for Bennett College in Greensboro. Yeah, today, leaders with the HBCU announced they filed a lawsuit to keep their accreditation, at least for the time being. On today, the college moved quickly to file a lawsuit against SATS in a motion for a temporary restraining order. A federal judge in Atlanta granted that temporary restraining order so Bennett can keep its accreditation while this entire legal process plays out. Despite raising more than nine and a half million dollars, an appeals committee with the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools Commission upheld its decision to revoke Bennett's membership because of financial instability. That decision was first made back in December. New tonight, here's what students at Bennett College have to say about all of today's news. Me personally, yes, I am sad today. I'm not going to lie. I did have some crying moments, but at the same time, I know as a Bennett Bell, you have to cry, but you get up and you know, hey, it's time for the work to be done and continue to be done. Just like Dr. Dawkins said, the fight is not over. We have to keep fighting. Bennett leaders say the lawsuit will take months. They are also prepared to seek accreditation from another organization. The news is impacting more than just students and staff as well. High Point University President Nito Cobain, who donated a million dollars from the school, is saying he's sad to hear about this decision, writing in part, we have no regret about stepping up and stepping out to partner with Bennett in their fundraising campaign. HPU is a God, family and country school, and being helpful is what we do whenever we can.